Welcome to the DJ Mo Radio Vlog. DJ Mo here, ready to drop a secret that a lot of you don't know about. Not even my family knows about this, at least until now. So, are you ready for it? You can probably guess by my shirt. Well, I admit, and you're probably right if you're guessing, that I am a real 40-year-old virgin. I am a straight man who has a challenge, which is getting a date. People who had more than one date would not understand this. No matter how much they try or say they do, there's just nothing to explain all of the feelings of loneliness, sorrow, self-pity, and even depression. And uh, because of this, I feel like there's an importance of putting it out there right now for those who are also virgins or dateless at or near my age, especially those over, to the, over 30 years old. You are not alone. I repeat, you are not alone in this, okay? I hope this will help those of you who are not virgins or dateless to understand a little bit what it's like to be a 40-year-old virgin and dateless. But it really cannot be described, not even on this YouTube video. You just have to live it to understand it. This is my reality, and maybe yours too. So I hope this video will help those of you who are virgins and dateless going through the same thing. I am not religious, not Mormon, not Christian, not Buddhist. I do not believe in God. I also do not live under a rock. I do not live with my parents. As you can see here, I own this home. This home is mine. I own my own home. As you hear, yeah, this is, this is all mine. Anyways, since I waited this long, I might as well wait for the one to give this to. This is my V card. Yep. Since this is a gift that I'm going to give to the woman who I will care about and love. I am holding on to it in my pants. How am I still a virgin? I, uh, good question. I know you, most of you are thinking that. It's not about looks. It's not about heritage. It's not about race. At least not as much as you think. It only factors in when a person gets a preconceived notion from exposure to how mainstream media portrays virgins or dateless people. It's more about personality, really. In a group discussion, I'm usually the quiet one. Everyone wonders why I don't talk a lot, even though I'm talking to you with this microphone and even on my syndicated radio show. Weird, huh? I am and have been pretty much an outcast 
my whole life. Kind of like a misfit. Not hanging out with particular friends all the time. Although I wished I had a close friend who I can share this topic with instead of publicly on YouTube with you. I am usually not the popular one who gets invited to hang out a lot. It does get lonely, sad, miserable, depressing every once in a while. And that is what people who aren't virgins at my age or have been dateless can't seem to understand or grasp. Although they think they do or they say that I'm a lot better off single, it's the total opposite coming from my perspective. It's all about perception. And I wish there are people in my life who really does understand my challenges. I've seen other similar stories here on YouTube, but I am here to share my opinions, my feelings, and my own story with you. As long as you are being your genuine self, like I am, or starting to become, the important people will stick around. I have to admit, my Facebook friend count has dwindled by at least 100 over the past few years when I started to display my genuine self, just like I am in this video. Instead of the nice guy, all positive, happy-go-lucky, who avoids opposing opinions and does not express his true beliefs. My friends also don't think I should open up like this, but I feel that I am ready to make this public and not care what others think. I have been wanting to do this for a couple of years now. And here I am finally doing this once and for all. This is my genuine self, whether you like it or not. I am a 40-year-old virgin who has a challenge getting a date. So I am currently looking for support. Even with the current friends I have, it's not enough. I am looking for real friends who invites me to social gatherings, not just social media friends who just likes comments and all of my posts. I want you to take action too which I've been trying to do before this pandemic even happened. Try to go out, putting myself out there and mingling in order for me to have a better chance of finding myself a date. All right, so here's a very important moment that I want you to know about. This is already on YouTube, so I will post a link on the description below of that video. So you can check it out after you have watched this video. It's a video of when I was 33 years old. I was interning at a radio station and the morning show host found out that I had never kissed anyone before, at least on the lips. Yes, I was 33 years, 33 years old who had never, never had a single date or kissed a woman before, not even in college. So they got a random woman to come into the studio to give me my first kiss. And that was the only time that I saw her. One and done thing. And yes, a video of that is already on YouTube forever. It's been up since March the 2014. That's when it happened. It was a very happy day for me. After that particular event, it kind of accelerated my learning curve. That was when I started to stop caring what others think of me. That's when I started to become my genuine self, which you see in this video a little bit. No matter what opinions I have about any topic, it was a slow progression. And here I am seven years later, about seven years later, this is who I am right now, 
And if you see me in that video seven years ago, I look so nervous, so clenched up. Like a robot. That was me about seven years ago. And look at me now. It helped me get a taste of what it was like to kiss. And I definitely want more of that. I absolutely love kissing. I miss it so much. And if you watched the video, I pulled the woman back for more after that first peck. And yes, I got my first kiss when I was 33 years old. Mainstream media, society, and my friends and family have seen the majority of how being who I am in a dating world is portrayed. But you know, there are exceptions to the norm. And that is why almost nobody really understands what I'm going through, this challenge that I face. There is nothing wrong with me, nor there is anything wrong with you if you are in the same situation that I'm at. I did not get my first real date until I was 37 years old. Can you believe that? I still have a lot to learn about dating women and relationships. I kind of need to practice, but unfortunately, I have been rejected almost all of the time, except that one time ever since kindergarten. Yes, I started early in kindergarten. My first crush was in kindergarten. And it has kind of affected my motivation in life in general, to be honest. It has no doubt affected it because I did not feel loved. That aspect has been missing in my life. It is very difficult difficult to live a life without romantic love for 40 years. But I am not giving up. Mm -mm. I can't give up. My sister was a valedictorian and became a doctor. So my parents have high expectations for me. I did not become a doctor, PhD, MD, Esquire, or any professional labor, label after my name. But I do have something before my name, DJ, DJ Mo. <laughs> yes, uh, that is who I am and I am not changing it. Mm -mm. I am happy about that. I am glad I went for my dream job and not what my parents wanted me to do. Especially now, since I'm, I'm at this point in my life, a 40-year-old virgin who can't get a date to save his life. Just can't. Even how, no matter how hard I tried, I would have been even more depressed about it than I am now. So I'm holding this dream job for dear life. I am not giving up on my passion. This is what I have. My radio show, my syndicated radio show. Even though I'm not making a penny from it, it is my passion. I am not giving it up. So here I am today talking to you on YouTube. Again, I am a 40 year old virgin who still has a challenge getting one date. Yes, I have only been on one first date when I was 37, who became my girlfriend for just eight months. Yeah, I know, right? I honestly think that's too short of a time, too short of a time. Eight months out of 40 years. That's too short for me. I know a lot of you saying like eight, eight months is such a long time. No, out of 40 year old, 
40 years, eight months. That's it. When I was 37. That's 37 years being single. My goal is to have a girlfriend for at least one full calendar year before I even think about marrying her. Because then it will, pre it will, it will prove that we can get through pretty much, pretty much any holiday and seasons together. I want to know that we will last till death do us part. Getting a date has been very difficult for me. I have been rejected in almost every single way possible. I have asked hundreds of women out over the years, and they all, except one, rejected me in some shape or form. I know all it takes is one, but haven't found her yet. And they all said no. I put the blame on mainstream media, which is probably the correct blame. Mainstream media portrays virgins or people who are dateless as awkward, not attractive, etc. Someone even called me an incel. I did not know what that was until I looked it up on the internet. It means involuntarily celibate. I do not associate it with that. No, not me. It's not me. Because I am also voluntarily celibate. I also do not hate women. I am friends with, a, with women today. I am not a threat to the public. I will not, I repeat, I will not go on a rampage like Elliot Rogers. I have no desire to hurt anyone, even myself. There is absolutely nothing wrong with me and nothing wrong with you for being a 40-year-old virgin or dateless. I am not perfect. In fact, nobody is. It's circumstances beyond our control and even within our control that led us to this point. People on social media mostly portrays positive stuff. People try to one-up each other. You don't get to see the real side of some people if they don't post about it. I use social media, like this YouTube video and my Facebook page, to be my genuine self, not just the positive things. Whether it's good or happy or sad and lonely. You don't see the genuine side of people going through their own struggles especially if they don't post about it. Everyone has struggles, whether you see it or not. But this here is my struggle. And this is how I am dealing with it. I am not really an alpha male. I'm actually a beta male, so that's partly why it's challenging for me to get a date. I'm 74% I'm introvert. So that is also a kind of a factor, but it shouldn't stop me from getting a date. Being Asian shouldn't stop me from getting a date. Being skinny shouldn't stop me from getting a date. Not looking like insert celebrity hunk like Ryan Gosling shouldn't stop me from getting a date. So what is it then? I don't know. I mean, I want to date. I've asked out women through all different forms of communication over the years, and they have all rejected me in some shape or form except that one. I want to learn about a woman. I want to be in an intimate, monogamous relationship. I will not... I repeat, I will not do a one night stand, which I had the opportunity to do it on a couple occasions, but I walked away from it. I chose to walk away from it. Was that a wrong choice? Probably not, because I still have this, my V card. 
now that I look back, there has been a couple more occasions where it was hinted that she wanted a one night stand. But innocent, inexperienced mean who can't tell if a woman is even remotely, romantically, or lustfully interested in me walks around holding this little V card like a little teddy bear and wanders away from it. So that's why I still have this. This is a gift for someone who I will love and care about. I don't want to be pleasured at the expense of a woman. I highly doubt oral sex tastes good, which, by the way, have been offered to me at least four times in my entire life. And I declined it mm -mm, because I do not want it. I am more interested in the person not being pleasured. Call me asexual if you want. However, I really love cuddling. I don't know. Since I'm less experienced in it, I may change my mind about this later if I really end up falling in love with someone I really love and care about. Who knows? So I'm going to put this out there because of law of attraction. All right, here we go. I am looking for a woman, non-smoker. That's the only requirement I have. That's a must, not even marijuana. Now here is my preferred but not required uh, stuff that I'm looking for in a woman. I want a woman who is between the ages of 21 to 50. You know why I chose that? Because she must be able to bear children, not cubs, waka waka, <laughs> uh, with both of our DNA because I want to pass my family genes with someone who I love and care about. A woman who is in probably like a 25 mile radius of where I live in Orlando, Florida. A woman with a lot of patience. A woman who is more focused on a relationship, not sex. I know some women don't believe this since there are so much so many douchebags out there just wanting sex out there, but that's, this is what I generally want. I am the exception to the rule. No matter what any other guy tells you or any other person, that's what I want. That's what I generally want. I have waited 40 years to have sex. I can wait longer for it. I am a virgin for a reason. This is my this is my reality. It's been three years since my ex-girlfriend. It's October 2021, and I still have been single and dateless since then. I definitely do not want to wait another 37 years for another chance at a first date. 74 years, retired, still a virgin? Nope. It'll be just too late for me, especially for my eggplant. My only ex-girlfriend was not Chinese, was not Asian at all. She was Cuban. Yes, a Latina. I'm into Latinas. I am also into Caucasians. So your belief has been shattered. Asians only dating Asians is a myth. The distant third, yeah, you guessed it, Asians, Asian women. And number four, mermaid. <laughs> yeah, oh, my humor. All right, uh, so my, my ex-girlfriend was, also was uh, 11 years younger than me. I was 37, she was 26. So age ain't nothing but a number for me. However, it is time, time is getting limited for me to find the one. 
and maybe you can help me uh, find the one. Or maybe you are the one, and we both don't know it yet. It's okay to be a 40-year-old virgin. It's okay to have been almost dateless for over 40 years. There is no shame in it. Don't listen to other people. You do you. Don't let mainstream media bring you down. I have accepted that fact. It's circumstances that led to where I am today. And I guess I'm okay with it. As long as I know that I will find the love of my life. Hopefully very soon. Because I will turn into a 41-year-old virgin in less than a month. Mm -hmm. The hope is fading each day. The pool of women is getting smaller. So time is of the essence for me to achieve this goal of finding a woman who will love me for, for who I am. So I'm holding on to this V card. V, not for Viagra, <laughs> but V for my virginity. Hopefully not for Viagra. Hey, I'm going to the pharmacy. I would like some V, please. This is my prescription. <laughs> uh, me and my humor. I want to at least experience what good sex feels like before I need that V, please. I don't know. Maybe I just need to find the right woman. A woman who is patient enough to teach me. Patient enough to practice with me. At least until I get it right. So I will give this V card to her when I am finally good and ready. A good thing is that I know that I don't have an STD. I only have a V. <laughs> uh, so advice for those in my shoes who are still dateless or virgins around my age, especially those who are over 30. Go out. Do what you want. Approach that person who you have a crush on. Just ask them out. I have covered all my bases. Like every woman that I had a crush on knows. Go approach her or him, even if you don't have anything to say. That person will accept you when you are your genuine self. And the person who does that will be the one for you. And that is who I am trying to find but haven't yet. I hope to see your successes if this video helps you out. I would love to read about it in the comment section in YouTube below. A few videos have inspired me to do this around YouTube, so this is why I am here to help achieve for you as well as for myself. Another advice for those who are still dateless or virgins over 30. Go for that dream job. If you have a job that you hate, change it. Get a job that you will tolerate and enjoy to an extent, no matter how much it pays. If your dream job isn't available to you at the time, just get a job that you would tolerate and to an extent, enjoy. You might meet the one while you are working that particular job because you are enjoying your life a little bit and others will see that and be attracted to you. But in reality, uh, I can say that I am not very happy with this particular aspect of my life, which is bringing me down and I have to overcome it somehow. And by overcoming it, I will need a date with a woman who will give me a chance to show who I am and accept me for who I am. I will not 
date a woman just to have sex. Another advice for those who are still dateless or virgins over 30. Don't think about your flaws. Don't let it handicap you. Don't have high expectations for kissing or sex. It's only going to disappoint you. It really depends on who you are kissing. It only matters when it is with a person who you will love and care about. But don't put it on a pedestal. And most importantly, by all means, if you are still a virgin, and I repeat, if you are still a virgin, by all means, do not light a black flame candle this Halloween or any Halloween. <laughs> and to my friends, do not let me near a black flame candle. Nope. Not anywhere near me. Mm -hmm. Unless you really want me to have a relationship with a witch. Uh, don't. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate all of your support and positive responses. Thank you so much for watching this until the very end. I hope you have received enough information for you to have enough positive light into your situation or to kind of understand what I'm going through. I'm not here to depress anyone. I'm, this is just my reality. This is my struggle, my challenge, and I'm going to deal with it the way I know how to. My name is DJ Mo. Until next time, peace out and carrots too. And I am going to put this back in my pants. Thank you.